What is going on? We back at it again. You know what I'm saying? Another neurotic video. You know what I mean? I might. You guys seem to like the last one, so I'm gonna keep putting these bad boys on the channel, low key. You know what I'm saying? This one already got half a million views in a day. <laughs> but The Witcher is a disaster. Netflix is the biggest failure, bro. And you know what's crazy? It could have been one of the biggest successes. After all that shit we heard about the rioters and whatnot. Just like, bruh. You see why Henry left, bruh? I would have left too. It's crazy too, because he's a fan. That's tough, man. He's a fan of The Witcher. And then we get The Witcher Blood Origins. You could, you could tell off the first trailer. The first trailer. What the hell that movie is about, bro? A diverse cast for modern audiences. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Diversity. Let me stop. Let me stop, bro. Anyway, hit the like, man. <laughs> Comment down below. Subscribe. All that good jazz. Go subscribe to Neurotic. You know what I'm saying? Go do this. Get this man to a million. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk. I'm surprised not at a million, to be honest with you. But yeah, get this man to a million, man. Come on, bro. Stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Gaming channel, Cash App, link in the description. Twitch, link in the description. I said that wrong. Cash App optional. Optional. If you guys want to support me. But uh, yeah, let's see what my boy got to say about The Witcher. And this could have been one of them. This could have been like another Cobra Kai for them. You know what I mean? All right. Today we're going to talk about how we can. This this mean. This would never get old. This would never get old. This is, this is just the perfect meme, bro. For like a lot of situations in life. Find out and how much we can find out and what it takes to get there. Yeah. So first we have to decide how much do we want to find out. So let's just <laughs> this day, I want to find out. Why you got it? Okay, so I find that level on my graph and I come horizontally. Bro, hold up, man. Hold the fuck up, bro. <laughs> Who edited this, bro? Was it one of his editors? The fuck? Or some, or some random person on Twitter did this shit. Or what? Hold on, bro. It intersects with my gradient line. I'm going to come straight down to where it intersects with my f around line. Now, there's going to tell me how much I have to, f to find out what I need to find out. <laughs> see, as you can see, the more you f around, the more what you're going to find out. out. And also, if you stay oh down here god. and you never f around, you'll never find, find out. out. Yeah. This lesson is helpful. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. Yeah. Oh my God. Greetings, you over 827,000 uh. practitioners of common sense. You're um, actually neurotic. <laughs> it's 831,000, my boy. Get your facts straight, big bro. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. <clears throat> Brilliant, by the way. And the 40% who haven't subscribed. Bruh, like, nigga, the first season. I was like, I, I, I was like that little kid. That little meme. Wait a minute, bruh. This is this is Tris and Jennifer, bruh. Look at the Tris and Jennifer we got. Come on, big bruh. Come on. Bad bitches, by the way. Bad bitches, bruh. Garrow! Scribe Jet, you're not so bad either. Let's talk about Netflix. They hold that nigga. Like, why? Like, come on. He deserved this, bruh. Why? Why couldn't he have to? I don't, I, hold on, it's, 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 it's side note type shit. He deserved that. He could have. He, why not have two? Y'all both love this nigga, man. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We all love you, love you, w, bro. Come on, bro. What's the, what's the issue? We're all friends too. On top of that, so what's the issue? <sighs> Garrow deserved that, man. Anyway, his <clears throat> biggest failure, The Witcher. Mm. But let's briefly go back in time to 2019, hey, a time Powers. before COVID. There was a pretty good economy. Game of Thrones just ended in disaster, opening the door for possibly a new fantasy series. Enter The Witcher. Yeah, at that first little scene with the little spider shit, I'm like, oh, okay. We got clickbaited. Everyone has been wondering, what are we going to do now that Game of Thrones has completed its run? Well, we have the answer for you. It's called The Witcher. <laughs> Despite casting fan favorite and fan of the books and games, Henry Cavill, there was still a lot of skepticism. There was the additional <sighs> diverse and inclusive casting that may reflect the Netflix HR department, but didn't really reflect the source material. Bruh. 
And I don't understand that, bro. Not everything gotta be diverse, man. Like, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Like, as a black man, I, I am not pressed. Like, bro, I love Lord of the Rings. I don't talk about Lord of the Rings that much. It's crazy. But I love Lord of the Rings. Literally, like, I think it's the best trilogy out there, bro. Like, when it comes to, like, movie trilogies, I think that the first, that trilogy is the best one out there, bro. And I think, to, to me, I think second, probably Star Wars OT trilogy, second place. Let me know if y'all agree or disagree with that. But, uh, yeah. And you think I was pressed about not seeing the one black man or one black woman in Lord of the Rings? No! No! <laughs> I was not giving no fuck about none of that shit. I was enjoying the movie. I was enjoying that movie, bro. Come on, big bro. Come on, man. My precious. Like, come on. Come on, man. And call him ugly. My nigga ugly as fuck, though. But, yeah, come on, bro. Frodo. Come on, man. Bilbo. Come on. That's why I didn't, even, I didn't even watch Rings of Power. That that piece of shit. <laughs> I didn't even touch that. Material. For me... Uh, it is all about the books. Yes. I'm always of the mind, if it's not broken, don't try and fix it. And I Thank you. That's why we love him. That's why we love him. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They don't give a damn, though. They don't get... Like, they always want to hire activists and all this other bullshit. You know what I'm saying? These woke motherfuckers. I'm like, bro, come on, man. Can we just get a good story, bro, while all, all this bullshit? People watch, people watch these things to be entertained. Not for politics. If that's the case, go put on CNN or some other bullshit fucking news site channel. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god! <clears throat> let me let me not let me not. Cause look, I don't, that's why I, that's why I watch one of these damn videos. Rock, I sit down and talk about this shit forever. I don't think they're broken, and um, I absolutely love those books. Um, that's what got to hear. That's what that's what's got to hear in the first place. Certain time. It's crazy. Um, it was it was written by a Polish author. And I had a feeling that most people imagine these characters to be white only. I am trying to tell stories where um, other. Bruh. Bruh. That was not my. <sighs> these characters to be white only. I am trying to tell. That's not my choice. Matter of fact, I might play some Witcher after this low key. I ain't gonna cap. I might go play some Witcher 3. I ain't played Witcher 3 in a minute. Matter of fact, I ain't think I played it since the. Uh... The update patch we got for the Series X and PS5 and whatnot. I might, I might, yeah, yeah, I might go do that. Because this is just, I'm like, but when they said this is twist, I was like, ain't no goddamn way. Stories where um, other people who Look may have my experience can Look also find themselves. Ain't no way, bro. And that includes making characters um, have different skin colors than perhaps uh, fans imagined. <sighs> it's a big part of the pop culture history of Poland, which is also, I think, quite important. In many ways, the Witcher world has a very European basis. We wanted to <sighs> give the continent a slightly more global feel. Which no! That's a major the... well, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why? Nobody asked you to do that dumbass shit. You think, if that was the case, niggas would have been complaining when the books came out. And the game, and, and when the games came out, bro. Nobody complained about nothing. Y'all make, like, they just pull shit out of their asses. Make a bullshit, bro, to fit their narrative, man. It's, it's tough. It's tough, like, bro. It is so hard to enjoy shit now, bro. Like, everything is, because everything you got to watch, you got to watch with a side eye, like, you want to know? You know what I'm saying? It's like, ugh. Anyway, I'll tell you, my boy. I'm bad. I'm going to cut you off. <clears throat> red flag when it comes to the approach to the source material there was the nilf guardian ball sack armor what do they look like jimmy dorks <laughs> <laughs> they look like a couple of dorks <laughs> yet prior to the show's release showrunner lauren hisrick tried to quell some of that skepticism and made a like who hired these people bro good. like who well, say who was this person and changing people and say it's a good idea legit and ethnic makeup or gender because i'm feeling really liberal that day no that's ridiculous and contrary to what any writer would do because we are storytellers story comes first well it turns out <laughs> that this was Look only this one shit. of the first signs that lauren baby girls i'm so sorry for all of y'all at the top they hold y'all they hold every single last one of these women up here, bro. I'm going to keep it a stack. 
Hisrick has a little problem they telling the truth. Y'all don't even match. <laughs> and to borrow a phrase from the fantasy series that the Witcher hoped to be someday, words are wind. Can we get some cash money now? <laughs> Plenty dollars. Plenty dollars. Still, season one was a massive success, one of the most watched shows on Netflix, and maybe they did have their Game of Thrones. I mean, Game of Thrones just ended. This, this, I think, I think, because uh, people were trying to like, I guess, I guess, trying to maybe fill that void, and I guess trying to see what they was gonna do with this too. On top of that, but after that first season, though, niggas like, oh, okay, I'm good. Thrones, um, it's very flattering. Uh, I don't know if it's a fair comparison yet. Time will tell. Yeah, because uh, the only comparison you can truly make is popularity, Man, and how well yeah. this does uh, versus how well that does. Unfortunately, it was all downhill from there. Big facts. There's an old book out there that says, "Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall." Was season one successful because of Henry Cavill, despite the writers and the producers from Netflix? I think so. I think so. I think, I think that also played a part of it too, Loki, because he was a fan of it. You know, and people love Henry, bro. People love Henry. I don't, I don't know, them, these niggas did not understand that. <laughs> they love people. Love Henry, myself included. You know what I'm saying? Top tier actor, bro. They fucked up. <laughs> they fucked up. Netflix or was The Witcher season one successful because of the writers and producers from Netflix? despite Henry Cavill. If you chose the latter, then you're probably a writer and producer for The Witcher on Netflix. How dare you? Season one of The Witcher had an 89% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, which was higher than the critic score. Then season two dipped almost 50% ah. to 56%. Ah. Season three Damn. dipped more than 50% from the 56% at 22%. The numbers don't lie. And they spell disaster for you. And let's keep in mind, after the success of season one, there was all this talk of a seven season plan, which looks like it's been abandoned. One that seven seasons of this shit. <laughs> I didn't know that. No, sir. Seven seasons. Bo, 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 bro. Like what kind of drugs these niggas be like what kind of drugs they on, bro. Oh, God. Y'all could have had y'all seven seasons. Y'all could have had y'all seven seasons. No cap. But no. No. And Henry was down with initially on one condition. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter in November 2021, Cavill said he was absolutely committed to telling Geralt's story for seven seasons on one condition. As long as we keep telling great stories which honor Sapkowski's work. I think they're ready for us. Well, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm ready also. For what? <laughs> You know what? We're going to discover together. Go. Well, Lauren Hittrick has said quite a bit over the last few years. And it yes, she has. The majority of it is bullshit. So yep. it would be a straight translation of the books. You know, I just think there's so much material um, that I don't feel the need to start inventing my own to keep it going. She also said The Witcher Season 3 will be very close to the books, except Big when it isn't. And we were told Henry Cavill would get a heroic send-off. To be fair, I do believe Lauren was being 100% honest when she was begging fans to come back to the show after Henry left. Netflix, yep. like Amazon with the Rings of Power, did end up getting their Game of Thrones, except they went straight to season eight. And just to pile on a little bit more, those audience scores are reflected on other review aggregates like IMDb and Metacritic, which are all time lows for the series. And if that wasn't mm. enough for Lauren Hisrick and her crack team of writers who are smoking crack, season three the part one something. of The Witcher lost 50% of its audience from episode one to episode five. Now you can just chalk this up as another show that had a pretty decent season one and then just fell off a cliff Oof. like Westworld, Altered Carbon, Umbrella mm. Academy, or even going back to Heroes. The only difference is shows. a lot of the fans saw this one coming a mile away. And now that part two has come out, it is indeed a fart in the wind. And you can tell I'm putting off even wanting to talk about it because I freaking hated it. Now, there might be others, but I can't think of a TV series that fell from grace so fast and hard. All I know is I went from the piece of crap Secret Invasion finale right into the hot garbage that was the last three episodes of The Witcher, keeping in mind that the Bruh. writers of both shows are currently on strike because they want more money. Just like with The Rings of Power last year, to a lesser extent, The Witcher... That's, that's, that's just like, bruh. 
That's just like some bullshit. Like, how you want some more money for, for, for bullshit? That's like that soccer player. You know what I'm saying? That, that what's, what's her name? That played for the, US, the USA, bro? That soccer player, bro? I forgot how to end that. Don't, don't give a fuck. Talking about after she fucking choked, fumbled the back. I saw I saw two clips, bro. She had two easy licks for those goals. And she fumbled the back, bro. She choked. And she dared post game. Dare say, brought, brought, brought out the more fucking money shit again. Ain't no goddamn way. Niggas is one more, bro. <laughs> bro, that's crazy. Imagine niggas. Y'all don't, y'all don't deserve no fucking money, to be honest with you. Yeah, certain, certain writers probably do. You know what I'm saying? Probably, you know, they're pinning it, writing crazy shows or movies or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pay them what they owe. Niggas that do this bullshit. Tell them to kiss it, kiss my ass type shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> On game. Witcher season three has united the internet. These are the roundest of times and the find outest of times. And I mm -hmm. do find it interesting, although this wasn't intended, that the title of the sixth episode of season three describes oh, that everything shit, that's going on with Netflix, The Witcher, Lauren Hisrick, and Henry Cavill. Everyone has a plan until you're punched in the face. Mm -hmm. Oof. Boy, can hell. What was that for? As with this entire you know series, why. The Witcher Season 3 Part 2 could be summed up with this. They're all searching for you, Siri. It's a Cirilla! Siri! Big facts. Nah, big facts. Nah, big facts. No, nope, no, nope, he's spitting. Nah, he's spitting. Siri! Where's the girl? Where's Siri? He's looking for Siri. I need to find Siri. Where is Cirilla? Have you seen Cirilla? Siri! Siri! Where are you, Siri? Siri, Siri, are you here? We're looking for Siri. Where's Siri? For the sake of your valuable time and more importantly, your sanity as well as mine, we're gonna get through this as fast as possible. The thing is, y'all, they're still going on with season four. They still, if they, if they're still going on with season four, bro, holy. As you may or may not recall, because Holy. you watched the show, we left off The Witcher Season 3 Part 1 with a banquet. With repeated scenes and repeated dialogue to make it look smart. The mages were conclaving and apparently all is not what it seems. How did I know yeah, that? Yeah, my face. All is not as it seems. You got damn right. This brings us to the dinner theater adaptation of the Thanic Coup. Round one, fight! Hadouk! I'm about, I'm about to say that shit too, bro. Mages, Redania, who in this show I like to call Retardia, and the Skyatel, who are the elves under the orders of Nilfgaard. And everybody's there, including, but not limited to, to Saya, Francesca, Margarita, Philippa, Sabrina, Triss, Frangilla and her COVID weight. Sure, there's a couple of dudes as well, including Kahir and Philavandril, who ends up getting blown up. The best description mm -hmm. will be women and some men fight some women and some men. Most of the men die, women most affected. You know who wasn't mm. at the coup? Siri, who got abandoned by her babysitter Yasker so he could have some gay love. Yennefer was able to easily escape the coup to find Siri in the middle of nowhere to abandon her once again to go girl boss at the coup. <laughs> no goddamn out, way. Not to worry, he finally got his big battle. The Ain't battle no goddamn way. Building up to for almost an entire episode, Geralt of Rivia and Velgafort's beach off. If I wasn't severely injured, I would beat you off right now, Ken. If I'll beach off with you any day, Ken. Oh Pause. Ken. All right, Ken, you're on. Let's beach off. Geralt gets his ass handed to him, and I <laughs> shit you not, he gets sidelined for the final two episodes. Geralt is taken to broccoli. <laughs> I'm Nigga, sorry, what? The female <laughs> to what? Of broccoli, where the hippie ladies heal him, and he's in this episode for about three minutes. And the rest of this hour-long episode is Siri wandering around the desert, being stalked by the goddess of angry. Bro, I'm so sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have to watch this. I didn't watch it. This is all new, new, new news to me. I didn't watch season three. Period. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no goddamn way, bro. Feminism, Falca. Powerful woman. Ain't no way. Insane, so oh my god. That's bullshit. Always has been. Always will be. Oh my god. Just in case you didn't god. get it the first ten or twenty times in this series, 
Siri is the girl who is the key to everything. One of the more yeah, important things like, about Siri is we, that like we did notice. That shit crazy, that she's bro. the main character of the Witcher saga. Not Geralt, not Yennefer, it's Siri's story. You are the key to everything, Cyrilla. That's right, Siri has finally taken center stage from Yennefer. And in Henry mm -hmm. Cavill's final episode of The Witcher, he spends the vast majority of it in physical therapy. Sure, by the very end of the episode, he ends up healed, teaming up with Yasker and my producer X-Ray Girl. I'm sorry, Milva. And Dude. in Henry Cavill's teaming up with Yasker and my producer X-Ray Girl. I'm sorry, Milva. And in <coughs> Henry Cavill's <coughs> final battle in The Witcher series, he kills a bunch of Milf guardian goons who stole a girl's doll. And of course, at the end of the fight, he has to be saved by my producer X-Ray Girl. I'm sorry, <laughs> Milva. And that's it for Henry Maybe Cavill girl. as far as the rest of the cast. Yasker is still gay. Yennefer is still a girl boss. Radovid becomes king. And the lost Siri is found and saved by a bunch of adolescent cosplayers who cut through men twice their size like butter. And the only character to make a logical decision in this show as a surrogate for the audience is to Sarah when she ends it all. And Henry Cavill is free from this intersectional feminist fever dream. And sure, yeah. I have hey, some bro, questions go, go that will never get answered, and honestly, them, I don't go do care. Thing with, uh, How did with, uh, Warhammer. Wait, find her way to the coup when the last time we saw her, she was drunk in a tavern. How does Kahir, who has been searching for Siri this entire series, just randomly run across her and then heel turns? begs for forgiveness, begs to be killed, and when she doesn't do it, he runs off to save her from his own people and says, I'll see you later. How are people able to come and go as they please during this elaborate coup? And what's Bruh. up with very natural redhead Deus Ex Triss, who came out of nowhere to save Yennefer and later save Geralt? Guess she's just hanging out waiting to save people when the script calls for it. And how in the hell did she get him to Broccoli? How could anyone responsible Bruh. for the show Blood Origin, which severely alters the lore, and then they connect it directly to The Witcher who has lied to the audience multiple times following failure this with another this. abysmal failure this. still keep her job I, I like... my highly weapon make it make sense come on man make it make sense bro that's crazy man i'm glad he watched this shit bro oh my god <laughs> that have been a waste of bro shout out to my boy man Neurotic, bro. I couldn't do it, bro. Damn. Organized autistic research team has crunched the numbers, and I have the total screen time of Henry Cavill's Geralt of Rivia. Don't the say total it. Total running time for episodes one through five, not counting credits, is four hours and 35 minutes. Geralt's screen time was 73 minutes, 24.85 minutes. Wait, who? Minutes. Episodes one through five of Henry Cavill's Geralt of Rivia. Total running time for episodes one through five, not counting credits, is four hours and 35 minutes. Geralt's hmm. screen time was 73 minutes, 24.8 seconds. Henry Cavill is only on screen for 27.97% of season three, part one. As Damn. far as season three, part two is concerned, it's even worse. Total runtime for episodes oh, yeah, I forgot through eight, yeah, not counting parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. is two hours, 30 minutes, and 31 seconds. Henry Cavill's total screen time, 25 minutes and three seconds. That means Henry Cavill is only in 16.67% of the final three episodes. So it won't surprise you at all to hear again that these are some of the lowest rated Witcher episodes ever and some of the worst episodes of TV I've seen in years. Long story short, these three sorry, episodes sorry, were like garbage, that. blood origin bad. They were incomprehensible, illogical contrived the worst kind of fan fiction that gives fan fiction a bad name but don't Bruh. feel bad if you have trouble with this show because you didn't read the books or play the games you would only be slightly more lost than the people who read the books and played the games the <laughs> Witcher was done the very second Henry Cavill announced he was leaving and we are simply here observing the inevitable and chronicling its demise but mm -hmm. not to worry Witcher producer Tomek Baginski has an explanation as to why his show sucks it's our fault from Forbes the Witcher they always say that shit. stupid Americans there they go emotional young people for the show's failures that's hard it yes it is thanks Kanye <laughs> yet the universe unfolds as it should and thanks to they quick to say that shit every single time it's it's crazy and it's like it's not like niggas don't give constructive criticism Niggas, this whole video, even though he was bashing it, 
it was constructive criticism of how, how shit the show was. He didn't say the shit the show was trash just because it was just, just to say it was trash. No, he's pointing out with all the details on like why this shit is ass. To the Writers Guild and Film Actors Guild strike. Yarn, bruh. Yarn, bruh. <laughs> bruh. Go here somewhere, bruh. On game. I I believe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you still get paid what you owe. You know what I'm saying? Because they got some writers out there, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, mm, that pen to paper, or them, you know, typing them keys, you know what I'm saying? Finger to them keys. Like, they making crazy TV shows, you know what I'm saying? Or movies that's entertaining the masses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pay them what they owe. Especially, yeah, especially the, it's like it's a big blockbuster, uh, movie or some shit or like a popular fucking TV like 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 Game of Thrones or something like that. Pay them what they owe. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Pay them what they worth. Everybody else, prove your worth. <laughs> Cause uh, as of right now, y'all ain't proving shit. Y'all is proving how shitty y'all are. If anything, y'all should get paid less. Y'all should get paid less what the fuck y'all putting on right now, bro. This bullshit. <laughs> Oh my God! Especially, especially niggas who've been working on Disney, who've been working on Marvel shit <laughs> for Phase Four, <laughs> Phase Five. <laughs> if them writers, if those writers are asking for some shit, kiss my ass. <laughs> That's what the fuck I tell them. <laughs> kiss my ass. <laughs> like I wouldn't even hire these people, bro. Like why are you hiring these fucking activists, man, to write these sales, TV shows, and movies, man? That shit crazy to me, bro. That is crazy to me, man. And then actors. Yeah, this, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. They should get paid more too. They should get paid because I saw I saw some of them, them, them clips. Some of them motherfuckers getting paid cents for uh from re residuals. I'm like, what? Not not even like a couple of bands. I feel like residuals should be like at least a couple of bands, depending on the actor. You know what I'm saying? The level of the actor. You know what I'm saying? Like you, Johnny Depp, Chris Pratt. Robbie Dino Jr. or some shit. Yeah. Yo, yo, residual check sh should, you know what I'm saying, look like, you know what I'm saying? But like, you up and come up and coming actor. You've been like in a couple of projects here and there. I should get paid, like, I don't know. Maybe like a couple bands or some shit like that. You know what I mean? F from residuals. You know what I'm saying? Not a crazy amount. Because, like, bro, you, I get it. Niggas want to get paid, but like, bro, you, you got to prove your worth, bro. You you not you not you not S tier yet, bro. You just starting out. You can't be asking for crazy fucking money, and you like I don't know D tier or E tier. You know what I'm saying? You're not S tier to be asking for like <laughs> crazy amounts of money like that, bro. Stay in your lane, bro. Anyway, I, I, I mean, let's let's just finish this off, man. The Witcher season four has been delayed indefinitely. Far be it from me to give a multi-billion dollar corporation. Might as well cancel that bitch. For my spare bedroom, surrounded by my plastic pals, but what? The I lie, these motherfuckers too, bro. I ain't got not one of these niggas, bro. Even if I did, I can't show it off. I ain't got no show back here to put nothing on anyway. But yeah, what the hell, cancel this show. Yeah, cancel that. Bitch. As sure as the sun is gonna rise in the east, the Marvels is gonna flop this November, and the Rings of Power season two is gonna suck. That nigga get canceled? I thought, I mean, not canceled. <laughs> not, not canceled. I mean delayed. <laughs> I mean delayed. The Witcher is still dead, and this may come as a shocker to you, Netflix, but all two's gonna suck. Guys in the that east, gonna, the is that getting the season two? Ain't no goddamn way. Of power season two's gonna suck. The Witcher is still dead, and this may come as a shocker to you, Netflix, but I'll keep it as simple as possible for all the stupid writers and emotional producers working on this show. It turns out the audience wants to see The Witcher in The Witcher show. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you heard, I thank you for listening this long. I will see you in the next video. Nerderotic.com. Ain't no goddamn. Y'all, they making a season two of Rings of Power. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't <laughs> no fucking way. I did not know that. Did I know that? Wait, did I know that? I probably, I probably did know that. But it probably just, you know what I'm saying? In the deep corners of my mind, just suppressed probably. But, uh, why? 
why i just it's, i just don't understand why they do this i don't get it bro like it's, it's weird bro like they keep they keep doing it bro like are they trying to go out of business at this point because the way disney going disney gonna get bought up by somebody bro and it might be apple so i know years ago years ago i think uh apple and disney was in talks you know what i'm saying like years ago i think it was bill Bill? No, not Bill. No. Oh, I forgot. Damn, I'm having a brain fart. The Apple CEO, man. I'm having a brain fart, bro. Oh my god, I can't think of his name right now. But uh I say Bill Ghost. I'm like, no, that's Microsoft. No. But uh yeah. Like that like it, it might happen, bro. The way this thing going, Apple might buy this. You know what I'm saying? And I heard Apple got a couple nice TV shows on the nice couple shows. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, you know what I'm saying? Pushing the agenda. You know what I'm saying? Nothing like that. No politics. Just entertainment. You know what I mean? So, again, I'm about to check that out, though. I said I said that last time in one of my other videos. So I'm about to check that out. But, uh, yeah, indefinitely, that means canceled. That shit is not coming out, bro. And if it does come out, it's going to be a big fucking flop on day one. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I was an actor, bro... Uh, like every single project on uh, reading that script i'm like oh this one i know i'm good get the shot of my face bro <laughs> real talk bro if i like if i was an actor bro if i was a top tier actor you know what i'm saying and i could be anything i want i'm gonna do I'm looking at these scripts like just, just bullshit out my face bro hey bro don't bring no bullshit like this to my face again all right bro you do this again bro you you're fire type shit on some big big man type shit oh god but uh yeah i'm rambling thank you for watching bro i could talk about this shit for hours like i said bro but uh yeah you guys enjoy the reaction man give it a up like comment down below subscribe all that good jazz hit the bell because it's free type beat twitch and channel link in the description down below again you guys want to support me cash up also link in the description down below but uh yeah man my boy neurotic he was spitting let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments down below. Did you guys even watch season three of The Witcher? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you, did you guys even watch this season? Let me know. Because after this, after the hell I just saw, Lord have mercy, bro. Thank God I ain't wasting my time. I already know I wasn't watching it regardless of the fact. But uh, yeah, this is this is solidified my, my decision. <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, you guys, thanks for the support. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.